Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our ICBM submarine. As you guys can see right here, it is floating, as I say, you know, it's floating, it is. Um, what we did last time is we actually ended up adding this little cargo bay right here. Honestly, it is actually pretty cool. If we decided to, it might even be pretty cool to add a crane to this, so that we can actually load the submarine ourselves. Um, that isn't really something that's necessary, so we won't do that today. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below if that's something you guys want to see. What I want to do today, though, is actually add a bit of a radar and a bit of a sonar, uh, so that we can actually do something with some of the computers in the main room. So, let's go ahead and get down there and see if we can do it, shall we? Okie dokie, so I've gone ahead and actually taken some, uh, some microcontrollers off of the workshop for this. Uh, the first one is going to be for the sonar, so let's go ahead and just smack this in wherever we want to. Uh, I believe here is actually an okay spot, so let's go ahead and put that there. Go ahead and change it to this color, and there we go. So, we need to attach this to something. We also need to attach this to something also, which is going to be in here, and we'll control it at one of these points. Now, we might as well do it next to each other, so let's go ahead and do it on this one. So, uh, let's go ahead and delete this guy right here, get ourselves a button, and smack it straight in. Here we go. I actually delete this guy first. Um, I have an idea, actually. I do have a bit of an idea. So delete this. Uh, go ahead and grab one of these. And we'll actually put this in. One there, one there. And send it in between like this. There we go. We're then going to get ourselves a button. And we're actually going to go ahead and put that right here. Which is going to activate the sonar. So do that. Sonar. Yes. Uh, and that's going to go ahead and connect to the screen as well. And it's also going to connect to this down here. Now, from there, we actually need ourselves an actual sonar, so let's go ahead and grab one of those, and smack it in. Sonar large? How big is large? Oh, that is pretty big. Okay, well, if I can, I'm going to actually just fit it on the top right here, uh, for reasons. So, there you go. Go ahead and smash this under here like so. Put that right there, and I actually really want to lower it down a little bit. But, uh, if it does have to be raised up a little bit like that, we can do it that way. Um, not that I think we should, but we can. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this right here. Uh, try and fit it in. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how this is going to work at all. But, yeah. So, let's go ahead and do this really quickly. Actually, no, don't. Go ahead and delete all of these. There we go. Good. Then get ourselves the sonar and try and smash it onto there like this. Oh, uh, we can't really do it. But if I raise it up a little bit, we can. Okay. That's not actually terrible. So, we'll keep it as is. There we go. Go ahead and fix that in right there. And fix this across here as well. And there we go. Now you can see the sonar from the bottom, which I didn't realize. Uh, but can I paint the bottom without it painting the top? I can't. Oh, that's really annoying. But you know what? Doesn't really matter. Okay, cool. So we have a gino ginormous sonar. Let's go ahead and put this right here. Uh, go ahead and attach this to this side as well. And essentially, we just got to go ahead and, I don't know, like cut it off, I guess? Um, which isn't really that hard to do. So let's just go ahead and do this. Let's do it on both sides for now, actually. Go ahead and do this. There we go. Uh, we'll attach these guys together like this. And seal that bit off just like that. And that doesn't look terrible. We're then going to go ahead and do a similar thing at the front. Here we go. Turn it around. Okay, we actually want it to look right. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, we can't. We can't. It has to be smaller. So this guy instead. Go ahead and whack this on here like this. And do that bit right there. Now, this does mean we have a bit of a hump on the front of the submarine. But actually, that looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and keep it. Yes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this across the top right there. I'm going to do this across the top right here. And that looks awesome. Okay, so let's go down to here and figure out what we need. This is two pings. Let's go ahead and do that. To activate the sonar, let's go ahead and push this button right here. There we go. And now we need to figure out what other controls we actually have on this. Uh, so this is it. Sonar data. Does that actually go to there? It does indeed. And then I don't know what the other thing is. It is a video thing for the monitor. Okay, that makes sense. So go ahead and attach that to there, and let's see if all of this actually works. Now, we are going to need some electricity first, obviously, because, uh, yeah, that's how it works. Um, and there you go. Okay, these guys are going to get some electricity. That's going to get some electricity. Let's see if it works. Okay, so go ahead and push the button, and there we go. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Uh, there are sonar pings going on. This is at 1,000, then we're at 2,000, then we're at 3,000, then we're at 4,000, and you can sort of see what's going on. That is pretty cool. I like that. We now need to actually add a seat back in so we can actually uh, control this, um, and that'll be pretty good. 
Okay, so the next thing that we need is actually the radar one. So I should uh, have a radar microcontroller. It doesn't actually appear to be here, so one second. Okay, so this is actually a radar that someone has made, and we're going to go ahead and use it. So let's go ahead and paste this right here really quickly, and then try and figure out where everything needs to go. So we can actually cut this apart and actually move things into place. So let's move this forwards, and we'll actually try and put it uh, somewhere over here. Now, I'm not entirely sure where it should go. Uh, maybe even down in front of the conning tower, I guess, uh, would actually work. So that is where we're actually going to paste it, which seems a little bit strange, but yes, we will have it right there. Let's go ahead and merge this uh, with this. There we go. Awesome. And we'll also change the color of it to be like that. There we go. Okay, good. So we got a bit of a radar. Very nice. We're then going to delete these guys. Um, wait, what is that? Oh, this is supposed to be the button. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and ignore most of this. We're then going to go ahead and grab this guy because it's kind of necessary. So grab it. Move it this way, go ahead and move it down into the submarine. Uh, delete this screen right here, there we go, and try and fit it into the right place. So bring it upwards, there we go, turn it sideways, move it this way, and we're essentially just going to paste it right in the center of there. There we go, that seems pretty good, merge these guys together, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to go ahead and do this, and that's okay, nice. Okay, so the last thing that needs to go in is actually the microcontroller. So let's go ahead and drop this down really far. Go ahead and push it into the machine. Where is it gone? Where is it? There it is. Okay, bring it down into there. Go ahead and send it sideways. And essentially, we just got to put it behind uh, in order for this to work. So go ahead and paste it there. Merge this guy with this. Delete all of these because they're actually kind of unnecessary. I don't know why they're there. And uh, attach these guys all together. So... We need to put a seat back in so we can actually sit and watch this. We're going to go ahead and put in one of these guys so we can actually uh, control it. And that'll be pretty good. So go ahead and send that across there. Grab one of these guys, delete this, put it right there like so. Attach this guy to there. And I guess the video is already connected. It is indeed. Do I have to activate the sonar as well? I do believe I do. There we go. Good. And that is hopefully everything that we need. Um, we are going to need to give everything electricity, so I'm going to do that real quick, but I think we've got this. Okay, so there's the sonar right there, that's for underwater, then we've got our radar right here, which isn't actually... Okay, right, I don't think I give any, uh, electricity to the button. But now we've got radar right here as well, just in case you need it, and that is pretty awesome. I'm actually very pleased with this, that looks like it's going to work quite well. Uh, we got the sonar, we got the radar, I don't think we need these two pieces right here, so I might get rid of them. Uh, and then just start decorating a little bit. Okay, so get rid of this guy, get rid of this guy, get rid of that guy, and that guy, and go to both sides and start decorating. So, we're going to go ahead and shove this guy across the top end like so. We're going to then grab one of these guys and do this, and we're going to go ahead and grab one of those guys and do that. There we go. That's on both sides, and that has made it look... I mean, it looks alright, I suppose. I'm then going to grab one of these guys, and I'm going to send it from there upwards. I'm then going to go to the other side, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to get some uh, equipment and put it in the center. So what do we actually need? I don't know what you'd need on the inside of here. But Arctic clothing seems to be the most uh, normal thing to put here. So we'll do that. We'll then put some first aid kits as well, just in case you need them. And is there anything else? I guess a fire extinguisher would be pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. Nice. That's on both sides. Works well. That's fine. Okay, I'm also going to do the same thing on this side. I'm actually going to go ahead and build this up to there. Go ahead and do the same thing right here and build this bit up too. There we go, good. And we're also going to put some arctic clothing in there as well. So if we can, let's go ahead and shove this on here. Put it in the right way around. And then we want to whack some other stuff. Maybe even a welder. And I don't know, maybe like a flares or something? I don't really know what should go above this. Uh, maybe rope. Rope doesn't seem like a weird, uh, like a normal thing to put in here, but it doesn't look terrible, so that's okay. Alright, so we've got the sonar, we've got the radar, we've uh, made the room on the inside look a little bit better. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put the red back in around the outside. Now, I feel like doing this because it will end up looking quite cool, so that's why I'm doing it. But um, I don't know what, what height to do it at, so I'm going to go ahead and do this right here and see if that's the height we want it at. Because it might not be, it might not be, but we'll see. So, yeah, you know what, actually... That's pretty much the exact right height. So let's go ahead and paint that all the way around the outside. And it should look pretty good. 
Okay, there we go. So I've actually done it all the way around the outside, and I do think that looks a lot better than it did, which is awesome. From there, what I actually really want to do is add one of these that I've never really added before on anything like this. Uh, but essentially, it's going to be a line going down, as you guys can see right here, even down all the way down to there. We're then going to go ahead and do something like this every two or so. Uh, as we go and hopefully that will look pretty good in the end There we go. So go ahead and leave that like that. That actually doesn't look too terrible Might be a little bit too big, but that's okay. Okay, so I was just thinking maybe this gray is actually too light so Let's go ahead and make it slightly darker and uh, We'll go ahead and make these guys slightly darker also so that it actually works. There we go We're then gonna go ahead and uh, paint this bit down slightly like so and that honestly looks pretty good. I, I do like this. Uh, so far, it is actually working quite nicely. Uh, and it looks really good too, so I'm happy. Alright, there it is, bobbing around in the water, as you guys can see. I might have to remove some of the weight from the back end, because at the minute, as you guys can see, it is a little bit too heavy at the rear, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm actually really, really pleased with this. I do need to paint that block right there back to normal, but other than that, I think we've done a pretty decent job. Um, and honestly, I think this, on the outside, Looks fantastic. Okie dokie, so I actually got rid of some of the weight at the back. I actually deleted most of that right there, and now it sits a little bit nicer in the water. Obviously, the front end is a little bit more buoyant than the back end, but it still seems to be working out fine. I still need to paint that little block right there, and I do want to give it a little bit more detail on the top. So I'm going to try and figure out how to do that. Okay, so I fixed that block right there, and I've actually added a little bit of extra detail by adding these guys down the sides. Whether I like that or not, I'm not entirely sure, but actually, I do think it looks pretty sick. Adds a little bit of detail that we needed, and uh, doesn't look too bad. So, do we want some sort of anchor on this thing? I'm not so sure we do. Maybe. I mean, maybe we do. Um, I'm not sure. I really don't know. Also, do we want a winch on this so we can actually pull things around underwater? Probably not, to be honest, but maybe, again. Uh, and then the other thing that we need to do is actually add a few, um, bulkheads. We need some bulkheads in this so it doesn't actually sink. The other thing on top of that as well is that we actually need to, uh, we, we need to add some sort of, like, uh, bulge pumps? Bulge pumps? Bilge pumps. Bulge pumps would be weird. Uh, bilge pumps, so that we can actually pump out water that accidentally gets in. Um, and I think that makes sense. So, that's probably what we'll do next. Anyway, for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. We've now got sonar, we've got radar, we've painted out some marine so it looks pretty cool, and that is awesome. Uh, I will be linking the radar and the sonar microcontrollers down below, as well as SE, SSI's stuff, so um, yeah, go check them out. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Sorry, I, I did literally just end the video, but like, what is going on over there with the trees? I, I just seen it. Like, I legit only just seen what this- what is going on here? Hang on. What's this? Why is there a bunch of flying trees in my world? Is anything actually here? Nope, there is just flying trees. Interesting. Very, very in stormworks, guys. Stormworks. Look at that! Uh, what seed am I on? So you guys can actually go check this out. Uh, the seed that I am on is 2034. Uh, 20034. And there are flying trees. Weird.